Hello Phil Man fans and welcome back to Day of the Day Day with me Phil Man in which I explain what the day of the day is today. Happy National Homemade Bread Day everyone. Can you believe that National Homemade Bread Day has rolled around again? Get out of here with your store-bought bread, you professionals that have trained your whole lives in this artisan pursuit, in this highly skilled art of creating a life-sustaining sustenance, creating wonderful comestibles that are delicious. Get, get lost! We're going to do your job today. I know you've spent hours getting up early in the morning in order to pursue what you have wanted to do most of your entire life. Well, we're going to take all of that and we're going to do it on our own at home for free. Only instead of a beautifully baked loaf with the exact correct proportions between the crispy outer shell and the soft doughy insides, warm to the touch with a slight squeeze and a wonderful crunch, we're going to make a lopsided, very dense, dry and weirdly octagonal, tiny little squashy bread thing and we're going to be proud of it. Bread is basically a worse cake, and we should be free to admit that, without fear of punishment or reprisal from the Bread Council. It takes all the good things about cake, like the massive injection of sugar in pretty much the most satisfying consistency that sugar can take, and removes the good stuff, i.e. the sugar, and replaces it with salt and nothing. I contend that a bacon sandwich would be even better than instead of being bacon between two slices of bread, it was bacon between two slices of Black Forest Gateau. You know what's good? Bacon. You know what's really good? Cake. You know what would be even better than both of those things? A cake bacon. Caken. But bake. Ba bake. Oh my god. Bake is already a portmanteau of bacon and cake. Guys, I'm literally doing science. Bread was invented when a caveman decided to grind up corn into a dust and then get the excretions from a cow and mix it in and then scrape together a fungus and drop some fungus in and then make that really hot for about 45 minutes and instead of being branded a madman or being prosecuted under the health and safety act he invented bread and he was a caveman or woman and what have you done social media marketing an internship Ugh. the phrase the best thing since sliced bread is usually used as a compliment Presumably by really easily impressed people that are just impressed by a loaf of sliced bread. I mean, I presume that they're not smart enough that if they were given an unsliced loaf of bread, they wouldn't be able to just, you know, slice it. And instead, they would just try and push the entire loaf of bread into their throat. Many people use the term bread to mean money, but uh, I like to do things differently. And as a result, my wallet is full of very thin slices of bread. The bus driver is not amused. You know, if I, if I was a baker, I'd be really insulted by toast. Here, I made you this loaf of bread that I baked with my bare hands. Oh, wow, you baked it once on the outside. Well, get with the times, bozo. I bake things twice, once on the inside. How do you bake it on the in- Check out my toaster robot that will double bake it. Can you do that with your fancy artisan skills? No. Later, loser. Happy National Bread Day, you great big idiot.